This is Sergeant Chris Richardson with the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Pedestrian safety is a two-way street. Both drivers and walkers need to do their part to keep roads safe. When you're walking, remember, the drivers may not always see you. So remember to use these tips to continue to walk safely. Wear bright clothes. Always use crosswalks and obey signs. Lights and reflectors should be used. And finally, keep alert and do not walk distracted. This message brought to you by the Tennessee Highway Patrol. CJ Used Appliances, located at 3530 Jackson Avenue here in Memphis, Tennessee. Call them at 901-487-7882. CJ Used Appliances has the best prices in town, sales and service, heating and air. Also, the best appliances you'll find anywhere in the Mid-South. Refrigerators, uh, microwaves, stoves, washers and dryers, deep freezers, dishwashers, whatever you need in used appliances. And folks, I'm telling you, they're the best used appliances anywhere you'll find. That's CJ Used Appliances, 3530 Jackson Avenue. All appliances come with warranty. You can call them at 901-487-7882. Again, 901-487-7882. CJ Used Appliances. Big Graphics Printing, located at 890 East Range Road in Memphis. A complete print shop for all your printing needs. They do it all. Color copy, resumes, funeral programs, rubber stamps, full color business cards, wedding and graduation invitations, and more. 30 plus years of quality work and service. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Located at 890 East Range Road in Memphis, Tennessee, 901-345-9294. See graphics printing. CNS Motors Auto Sales, located at 2508 Summer Avenue here in Memphis, Tennessee. Call them at 901 323 8778. CNS Motors Auto Sales has been around since 1984. Go by and see Chris today for some of the best pre owned and used vehicles in the city. They have SUVs, minivans, cars, trucks. Whatever you're looking for in pre-owned used vehicles, hey, you can find it right there at CNS Motors Auto Sales. See, Chris, since 1984, they will treat you right. Call them at 901-323-8778. That's 901-323-8778, 2508 Summer Avenue, CNS Motors Auto Sales. Max Back Taxes, 4422 Yale Road here in Memphis, Tennessee, 901-382-1414. Get the maximum back on your taxes. It is now tax season. 15 years in business, precise, professional, and honest. Hey, you need to go by Max Back Taxes, 4422 Yale Road. Call 901-382-1414 and talk to Tamara. Get the maximum back on your taxes with Max Back Taxes. This is Sergeant Chris Richardson with the Tennessee Highway Patrol here to explain the Tennessee Hands-Free Law, which is a new state law effective July 1st, 2019. In Public Chapter 412, it makes it illegal for a driver to hold a cell phone or a mobile device with any part of their body, to write, send, or read any text-based communication, to reach for a cell phone or mobile device in a manner that requires the driver to no longer be in a seated driving position or properly restrained by a seatbelt to watch a video or a movie on a cell phone or a mobile device, and to record or broadcast video on a cell phone or mobile device. So, can I still talk on my cell phone while driving? Yes. A driver is permitted to use an earpiece, headphone device, or a device worn on a wrist to conduct a voice-based communication. The driver may use one button on a cell phone or mobile device to initiate or terminate voice communication, and voice-based communication may also be used to send a text message. Learn more at handsfreetn.com. CJ Used Appliances, located at 3530 Jackson Avenue here in Memphis, Tennessee. Call them at 901-487-7882. CJ Used Appliances has the best prices in town, sales and service, heating and air. Also, the best appliances you'll find Anywhere in the Mid-South, refrigerators, uh, microwaves, stoves, washers and dryers, deep freezers, dishwashers, whatever you need 
in used appliances, and folks, I'm telling you, they're the best used appliances anywhere you find. That's CJ Used Appliances, 3530 Jackson Avenue. All appliances come with warranty. You can call them at 901-487-7882. Again, 901-487-7882, CJ Used Appliances. B Graphics Printing, located at 890 East Range Road in Memphis, a complete print shop for all your printing needs. They do it all. Color copy, resumes, funeral programs, rubber stamps, full color business cards, wedding and graduation invitations, and more. 30 plus years of quality work and service. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Located at 890 East Range Road in Memphis, Tennessee, 901-345-9294. C-Graphics Printing. CNS Motors Auto Sales, located at 2508 Summer Avenue here in Memphis, Tennessee. Call them at 901-323-8778. CNS Motors Auto Sales has been around since 1984. Go by and see Chris today for some of the best pre-owned and used vehicles in the city. They have SUVs, minivans, cars, trucks, whatever you're looking for in pre-owned used vehicles. Hey, you can find it right there at CNS Motors Auto Sales. See Chris since 1984. They will treat you right. Call them at 901-323-8778. That's 901-323-8778. 2508 Summer Avenue, CNS Motors Auto Sales. Max Back Taxes, 4422 Yale Road here in Memphis, Tennessee, 901-382-1414. Get the maximum back on your taxes. It is now tax season. 15 years in business, precise, professional, and honest. Hey, you need to go by Max Back Taxes, 4422 Yale Road. Call 901-382-1414 and talk to Tamara. Get the maximum back on your taxes with Max Back Taxes. again and welcome to talk back live in the morning uh, it is now 906 i believe that is 906 six minutes past the hour of nine o'clock central time and a very pleasant good morning to you on a monday morning yes a lovely wonderful monday morning and starting your day off at 61 degrees under mostly fair skies. Yes, sir. A beautiful day to start your day on a Monday. Oh, yeah. And I tell you what, folks, we have a ground up for you today. Hot topics of discussion, news that you could use, local, national, international. Number to call is 901 213 
601-213-6020. Again, the number to call is 901-213-6020. And uh, we would like to take your phone call. Also, people are following us and, and leaving comments now. Speaking to us on Facebook Live. Oh, yeah. Also, you can listen to us uh, live on the Spreaker app. And that's S P R E A K R. And Josh will tell you a little bit more about that. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, everybody out there listening, tuning in, wherever you may be. Mm-hmm. However, you may be checking It's a great show we got lined up for you today. Mm-hmm. On this Monday morning, man, as Bob said, ready mm-hmm. to get it popping, cracking, rolling, kicking, jumping, screaming, yelling, all that stuff on this beautiful Monday morning, man. It's yeah. great outside. Uh, looks great, feels great. Wonderful, yeah. bless. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, man. So y'all get out, enjoy it if you can, of course, safely uh, as well uh, during these times, man. But glad to be back on. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of interesting things we want to talk about today, so we're going to get right into it, man. But first, want to remind you where you can follow the show. Follow us on our social media pages, Twitter at Talk Back Live. That's mm-hmm. one word, at Talk Back Live. Also, Facebook, Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. Like our Facebook page, check us out there as well as Talk Back Live Network on Facebook as well. Also, check out our website, www.talkbacklivenetwork.org. You can go there and check us out. Once again, www.talkbacklivenetwork.org. You can check out all the stuff we got on there. You can listen live on there. You can watch us there. You can check out a lot of different things we got on the website as well. So, uh, that's it, man. That's all the different ways to check us out, including and especially the Spreaker app. S P R E K E R live each and every time we are live. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, continuing yep. here, we want to appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And Josh gonna do his thing there. All right, and uh, I tell you what, uh, without uh, any delay, let's get it on. Let's do it. The headlines today. We've got well, we got a lot of things going on around the city, a lot of things going on around the country. Well, you got a lot of things going on around the world. And uh, we're going to talk about a couple of these things that are going on. And also, we're going to ask a question uh, of the other day or give a, uh, I don't know, if it's a question of the day or a thought. Well, topics. Yeah, yeah, maybe you could give us, what do you think about it? What do you do? How do you do that? But uh, yes, all the other things we're talking about as far as our topics are concerned. And let's talk about it. Gosh. Thing we'll start off is uh, pastor having service. Yes, yes, yes. Is it wrong? Is he wrong for having services? Uh, you know this thing. Where is it? Out of Louisiana? Louisiana. Uh, pastor that's uh, in trouble with the law. Well, in some ways. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll, well, we'll yeah. get your opinion. Is he in trouble with the law or the law is aggravating or um, uh, harassing this pastor. Josh, what's going on with this story? Well, if you ask me, he thinks it's harassment. Uh, this pastor Tony Spell, right? And if you had not heard of this guy, well, um, I'm kind of surprised because he's been in the news a lot as of late. You know what's been going on hmm. with social distancing and things of that nature, the yeah. effort that's been made nationwide and really worldwide at this point. So, Continue to keep long amounts of people uh, from congregating, whether it be a church or anywhere else. Mm. You got grocery stores limiting the amount of people that yeah, come in. True. You got restaurants closed because and can't do business because mm-hmm. of what's going on right now, uh, or they have to completely change the way they do business. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the church is no exception. 
exception to the rule. Now, what's been happening, uh, even though you haven't seen as many as of late, there have defined these rules. And now, uh, Pastor Tony Spell has been really probably the most noteworthy of the pastors. Uh, he himself that, I'll put it that way. Mm-hmm. That's been put out there disregarding the social distancing rules. Mm. He says, no, you're not going to stop me and my from doing what we are put here to do. Mm. And it doesn't matter what he says. It doesn't matter what anybody says. He's going to do what he's going to do. A lot of people agree with him because church rules and what the law says, some, sometimes some people go a little different mm-hmm. uh, when you about uh, what the church does and then what people do as far as uh, in regular life. So, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, is it uh, wrong for him to say, okay, I want to have a service with with my people, Uh, you know, and that type of thing? Uh, Should the uh, uh, city or the the police department have anything to say to the church bring the people together? Is that a good thing that's happening, though? Well, some people, too, would look at it and say, well, when those people get together, if there's any viruses or anything going on, mm-hmm. then those people are going to maybe capture those viruses, bring them back to other communities and their neighbors, and then it spreads even farther. So I guess that's what the, the people are talking about. Literally. But, yeah, yeah, but what do you think about it, folks? Take a listen to this. Josh, you ever ready? Yeah. Let's take a listen to this, and we'll be back. And take your phone calls, your nine zero one two one three six zero two zero, and do I have some things to ask you and to talk about today after this one? Well, yeah. this, yeah. but, but well, let's yeah. get let's get this yeah. one done. We'll, we got some other things. Zero one two one three six zero two zero. Take a listen to. I was arrested by the Central Police Department. I was led into a trap. A dozen officers handcuffed me in the back of the car and put me through Paris. Pastor Tony Spell was arrested Wednesday morning. He is accused of driving a church bus towards a man who was protesting services being held in defiance of public health orders during the coronavirus pandemic. Not guilty of any charges that I have been accused of. I am not guilty of assault with a deadly weapon. The bus attorney says Spell was planning to get out of the bus and speak to the protester. His wife talked him out of a confrontation. Look forward to defending uh, on this case. The video. And if this is a trial, no one would ever be arrested or aggravated. As- those facts. Pastor was the same day on. While I was in the prison, I preached to the inmates. <laughs> when they used profanity, I said everybody used to quote a scripture. It went quiet in that jail cell. Amen. Then I preached to the inmates. <laughs> faces misdemeanor charges for holding large gatherings in defiance of the governor's social distancing rules. You understand the charge is a violation of the governor's emergency order under six counts. I am not guilty of any orders. The only thing I'm guilty of is practicing my faith, which was given to me by Jesus Christ in the pastor insists he has the right to hold church services under the same conditions that other essential services are allowed to operate under. My unalienable rights are given to me by God, and those rights are to assemble and have church. I cannot give up those rights. God forbids me to give up those rights. The pastor says his father will stand with him and will continue preaching. See you in church tonight at 7:30. 
Incredible drama playing out down in Louisiana. Let's bring in uh, Chanley Painter. Uh, uh, Chanley, this pastor, very outspoken, very uh, uh, orders and uh, following. Though, how big is? This? I hear people, all these folks in the background. Yeah, we do. camera, but when he's released from jail, he out of seventy plus parade. They arrived there at the jail in their church buses. They were dressed in their Sunday best, and they were cheering him on as he exited the prison. Uh, he was released on $5,000 bond. He faces new charges. He already had six misdemeanors for violating the governor's stay-at-home order by continuing church services. Now he adds aggravated assault as well as improper back. There's the chief there, Benny, calling him a fugitive because Okay, all right, uh, calling him a few, <laughs> but what do you think, oh, do you think dude is a trip? Do you think, uh, like Josh said, do you think this dude or this <laughs> is a trip, or do you think he's doing what God told him to do? <laughs> and uh, sometimes I guess people like that will feel that they don't understand when they do what God tell them to do. That people don't understand it. It's kind of difficult yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to see and to... To know, but is this what you think is going on here with this guy, or is he a fruitcake? <laughs> but he's got a following. He's got. He have people following him on and following him and uh, that type of thing. What do you think? Nine zero one two one three six zero two zero. Do you think this guy was a harass authorities, or do you think that uh, he's right? <laughs> Or do you think they're doing the right thing uh, to try to uh, keep this guy from uh, assembly? Well, you know what? So, so let's see, right? When, when you talk, about it, if you have to unplug it, do it again. You know? But uh, when it comes to that, this dude is something else. What got me the uh, the most when I first saw him, uh, he reminds me of Pat. You know, Pat Riley, who's, you know, former coach of the, the Knicks and, and Miami Heat. Uh -huh. They got the slick hair and the, the impeccable uh -huh. suit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Suit is sharp. Yeah. And, I mean, I mean, razor sharp, walking out of the prison like a, like a, looking like a mafia boss. But he's got that, that stare. Mm -hmm. You know, like he, he said, yes, I am Pastor Snell. As he walks out, gives the peace sign, looking like a, mm -hmm. uh, Nixon. But, being said, hmm. this dude is, he, he looks like he's uh, more of a personality than anything else. And I think he's one of those guys. He's doing that to get attention. Absolutely. 100%. I think he, I think in, in some ways he means what he's doing. Hmm. But I think once the notoriety has continued to come his way, or, you know, if you want to call it notoriety, a lot of attention, a lot of media attention. Hmm the focus of, of a lot of that and I think you know he's his his following is probably because of this whole thing so we're gonna play it up I can he's he, he doesn't give sense about the government hmm. or the or the law or being arrested multiple times his misdemeanors are adding up mm -hmm. over and over video of that bus did you see that bus yeah you saw what he was doing with that bus what was he doing? Well, I mean, it's all the but the, the video that they. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> what was going on with that? They talked about the man was standing in the street, and it was a protester there, and you saw how fast that bus was moving backwards. Okay. He the wasn't... guy was standing right behind the bus. He 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 oh, stopped maybe goodness. two two you feet. You don't think he was going to run over the guy, do you? He stopped two feet short of that guy, <laughs> and that's a big bus, and that thing was flying, and he stopped. Uh, well, is that a, is that just a uh, uh, <laughs> over trying to protect his uh, members, you know, his people? Uh, and protect them try, from what? Trying not to show fear. He's not afraid of anybody. Is that the will of God uh, to stand for <laughs> the kingdom of God? Is that what he's trying to do here? And run over, you know? run over people with buses? Well, you know, try maybe trying to fight back or you know, to <laughs> let let. Right people to run over the church 
know, well, know. he'll run over you first. He'll run over you first. <laughs> but anyway. The church will run over you before. No, nah, man. But look, man, come on now. I, I just think, you know, people was, like. Yeah, go ahead. He was released on a $5,000 bond. Yes, he was. Okay. Uh, and but, he said he's going to have church immediately that night. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is against the law. So still. bringing people back together again, mm-hmm. which is ever which uh, the state is saying, do not gather. Yeah, that in large number of people. But he said we're gonna after that we're gonna have service tonight. Everybody yep. come on back out. So he's just not obey what the state is saying. No, I mean he is he is very steadfast in what he's saying. Okay, is. my question is this: mm-hmm. Do you think the people should? Obey what the state is saying in this. Should obey by being a church. Is this? Uh, is there a separation of church and state? Uh, does that uh, defend the church uh, to be able to do what they're supposed to do as a church? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, are they violating his rights? Uh, some people may think he's crazy. But are they violating his rights? Or is he just off the rocker? Is he wrong? Is he pulling a gun on somebody, making them do something here? Uh, or, or or is it the same uh, as though you're pulling a gun on somebody, but yet he's... Uh, some people would say, uh, you know, certain preachers have people's minds twisted. Yeah. Well, what was the, how do they say that? How do they say that? Brainwashed. Mm-hmm. Do you believe this guy have some have the members there or people? Some of the people brainwashed, or is he just standing up for what he believes? Okay, and uh, we'll uh, appreciate your comments on Facebook, and if you want to call us nine zero one two one three six zero two zero. Is he wrong? For doing what he's done. That's a, that's a big story. Anyway, uh, I have another question. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's. Uh, what what that story about that white girl dating that black ball player? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, what is what is going on with that? She's sitting all up on him, hugging. Other news and other news. Yeah. yeah, that's what She's I'm all up on him on. and holding him and. This is him waiting. Is he listening for the draft? Or yeah. So here's what's going on. Um, and most people, I ain't gonna say people, but a lot of people. It's been a, it was trending when it when it happened during the draft uh, last week, and it's really continued as a conversation um, around the country, really for a while. But mm-hmm. and, and really because this has always been a thing, right? There's always been um something that people talk about as I switch to that photo there. Now that photo is not the actual photo. Of the draft pick, but it is okay. depicting this situation here. Okay. So now you see it's a black man and it's a white woman. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people believe that this, for whatever reason, has been a ongoing situation with white women when it comes to guys that are being drafted or when you play a sport, period. Oh, come on, John. That it all seems to be this combination. Mm. Why? Okay, so is you, it or so, it, people even be bothered by this at all? But this, well, what's going on here is, uh, you know, saying that what? What's what is she trying to do here? Yeah, I mean that there it is. I mean, I'm that that's the question. But I mean, is that and then should they be uh, together? And plus, let me just play the clip here. Yeah, and it's, will. It, we don't have to go anywhere. We can still talk about plan because you you can just see what's going okay. on here, here and everything. So there it is. It's a girlfriend, Isaiah Wilson, just getting drafted by the. You see, he's she, she snatched off screen. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm run it back. So, there's Isaiah Wilson again, and the girlfriend was suddenly snatched off screen. So what happened was his mother was there, and she said, get up. There it is again. She and literally yanked. Out of the picture. Well, <laughs> and, and so okay, but my 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 thing is here. Yeah, is there a problem here? If the uh, girl was hugging up on the guy, mm-hmm. 
and they were showing him getting drafted. Yes. Okay. And so he's sitting he, in the living room. Uh, at home but they were the room. they were like, see, they were like that before the mother started pulling her off of him. Mm-hmm. So why didn't that? Why didn't they do that for now? Uh, but they knew something was coming on the uh, the draft situation. He was sitting there. Why didn't they do something for now? And just decided to pull her off of him, you know, while he was, uh, you know, the going on here. They so, why, did, why did they let her lay up on him to that to that moment, and then, you know, and then pull her off? Okay, well, all right. So here's my question. So when you, and she's pulling, trying to pull back. Yeah, she. And you see, it got to the point, and this was all on. Yeah, so ESPN saw all of this. I don't. I don't know. If this is. Her girl, or is it against the mother? That's the question. I, I, I think it's more against the guy. Really? Because yeah, I mean, why would he he let her sit there in his lap or whatever the case may be, all up on him, knowing this was something? Yeah. I mean, he allowed this, and then you know when she was pulled off of him, to me, that that is a sorry looking. Uh, <laughs> Did you mad at him? Situation there. I, I mean, well, you know, he she should have never allowed this though. Well, what, what he, should he not allow? Knew, I mean, he knew he was coming on the air, right? Well, here's the thing. Now okay, they don't they, tell they, you. Yeah. When they, now they know you, they, you got the camera. They set were up talking there. about him. Yeah. It was coming. Yeah. Okay. Why did he allow her in the place to lay all up on him, knowing that this was going to happen? He should, situation. He should have handled that. To me, he was not handling business. Well, okay. I but, mean, you know, he allowed her to lay up on him that he wasn't taking care of business. And then all of a sudden now somebody wants to pull her away. And he didn't push her away. No. Whoever it was, his mother, his mama, somebody, yeah. pulled the girl away. He didn't do it. Even though while she was pulling her off of him, he did not say anything. And to me, I don't think he was going to say anything. I don't think so. But, but here is a fact. Mm-hmm. Here Fact that we were talking about, and you mentioned. Yes, sir. So, I don't understand. Why is it that when black men become uh, national heroes or sports figures, white women come out of nowhere, and then all of a sudden they love those black guys? I don't see a white woman jumping on and and uh, loving on a. Uh, 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 a low uh, black guy that has, has low income. Or, well, in some cases, you may see it, but in most cases, Actually, you see you see a lot a of point. you see a lot of athletes, a mm-hmm. uh, male athlete that had uh, coming into a lot of money or a lot of money. It seems to me that the uh, the white woman is there. Where's the sister? <laughs> that's that's the way they say it. Yeah, but, I mean, you you're know, right. look, where's where's the black lady at? You know, uh, so. Uh, is it that uh, these black guys uh, want to move on to to something better, or, no, or no. they feel they can trust the, they feel they can trust the white woman better than the black woman, or is a black woman just too much of a you know a, 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 a you know an H razor you know so <laughs> uh, I don't know why do no, you why do you think. These black guys and black athletes all over the place, basketball, football, whatever the case may be, baseball, any other sport, mostly basketball, football. Mm-hmm. These black men are marrying these white girls. You, I mean, you can name you you can name them. I mean, you, you know, they're out there everywhere. What's going on with this? Why is that more black athletes? Mm-hmm that are wealthy, coming into a lot of money, marrying or being with these white women. And why do you see white women accepting this? I mean... Uh, well, first you know, of all, I, 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 I can see a few million reasons why they accept Well, I see, I, I see that, but, yeah. do, but is that the only reason why a black male should be allow a white woman to come into his life? I mean, no, do they, what, what is it? Black women are not trustworthy, or you know, is it too much for them, uh, or is it that you know uh, a black guy now he has an opportunity to come into a lot of money, and then he trusts the white girl 
to be able to handle situations better than uh, black. Women. He's probably had his experiences uh, before now with black women and just mm-hmm. did not work out. Uh, you know, they may say, hey, a sister going to dog you or she going to want that to do this and divorce you and get and all that. Mm-hmm. Is it that not happen with a black guy dating or athlete is dating or married to a white female? Well, y'all let me know because... Is that a problem? It, it, it is so many... Uh, Bob laid out so many things that you could really discuss when it comes to this type of thing because it... We all know, you know, if you want to front, y'all know it's true that this has always been a topic of conversation when it comes to athletes, especially the NFL, and you can say the NBA as well. And mm. Kelly, you're hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. I don't know if you're wrong, but I've been hilarious uh, in what you're saying. Right, good morning to you, brother. Good morning, GKP, Carrie, Carrie, and Frankie, and some more people coming in. Y'all let me know. Well, 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 Kelly, I mean, you know, the, yeah, the camera can't see uh, her son, but uh, her son, I don't think, it seems like he don't have a problem with it. Well, my I question mean, is, should he, though? Like, if that's, look, that's a big moment. No, this is a big moment. It's he, a huge he, moment. Handle this in a professional manner. And he just got this laid all up on him. <laughs> she, she give, he cried because he got the his face. Hmm. And you know, like he he has the Titan hat over his face. Okay, he's comes crying. To... So what? Are you... She's trying to console him, or yeah, or she's just comforting. You know... Like you okay, know, well... she's sitting there like, oh man, I'm proud of you, you know, type of deal. Yeah. And the mama said, no, you're gonna get up while the camera is on him. I don't think. That's mm-hmm. You know, I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. maybe I'm wrong, folks. Well, these are all opinions, you know. <laughs> this is just my. I'm mean, you know. Yeah. I don't know. But what do you think about this whole situation? Is it that more athletes, male athletes, are falling for white women, or white women falling for more black male athletes? Why is it? You see that trend? It's been happening for years. Yeah, it has been. So, uh, a white woman is? Are they? Saying, I'm not going to touch a black man unless he's got money. And for the most part, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I went too far with that. But no, you didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I've but, seen people know. go much further than that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but I, yeah they have. I, I can't certainly I can't. Definitely not. Yeah, this this isn't. A, yeah, this isn't that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's get off of her. Right, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, what do you think, folks? Nine zero one two one three six zero two zero. Is that is that a story, or does that be a problem here in this particular? You ready with the story? No, ain't no story. That was it. It's just of oh, yeah. the video. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, make you comment. need to make your comments on that. In other news, ask you something, folks. Uh. When you go to, uh, I don't know, a fast food place or any place where you drive up through the drive through order your food. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know. In most cases, they give uh, the, uh, you know, you may get a hot dog or maybe you may get uh, a hamburger or something and then stuff like that and then those stand and they put the packages in your bag and it, and in in their french fries there's other food that may be eaten, but they take their hand and put it on the ketchup or whatever and they drop it in the bag on your food on your french fries Have you ever had that done to you? Do you use that stuff or do you open? Because I don't even use those ketchup bags that they give us. That ketchup, whatever, mayonnaise, whatever they give you. I don't even use the stuff. I have time to peel open, you know, a packet of ketchup and 
eat it all up. I mean, to me, that's too messy. You know, uh, should they have a better way of doing this? They throw those packets in there on your ketchup or your fries or whatever. That's going to pass germs along, don't you think? I mean, I think they should have a better way of doing it. Or do you think that they should just have the ketchup bottle inside the place there? And Hi, this is Connor. I'm an employment. And oh, okay. All right. Uh, they have the, the uh, should they have ketchup bottles or mustard bottles and all of that inside with ketchup and mustard in it and, and squeeze in your stuff or, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't like having those packages. Better way. Maybe they can make something to work. Squeeze. They can hang you squeeze out on your food. But when they take it and with their hands and they throw it in your bag, all on your French fries and everything. I don't know if that's the norm or the way they. Did, but uh, but anyway, I know I do that uh, when they throw well, stuff in on your on your food. It's, you know. You know what? Like it, to I, me, it's. I, I, just just get in on that for a second. You know, I uh I just don't even halfway think about it. I'm not even gonna lie. Because and look, I understand, right? But technically you could think that way with anything. Literally anything. Well I do you I could, mean you, well, you, no, you about that with the napkins. Mm. You could think about that with the wrapper. Oh, no, you could think about that. No, no it's no. it's not a surface. Much, not too much with the napkins. Why but... not? But I mean, with it's the, the same thing. Well, I mean, you know, napkins. They are, just drop it in there. Well, napkins. Their hands are not all over the napkins. You can, you can choose the na- top napkin. I'll put it bullet. But a, a ketchup and all that with the and they throw it in on your front. That's not. I don't. I don't find it uh, the same way as far as napkins are concerned. Yeah, napkins are somewhat put in the on top of everything. But uh, it's know. the same thing because look, they grab it. I mean, you don't just. It's not like they're they um, you know, they wiping the napkins down or anything. You grab a handful mm-hmm. and you drop it in that thing, and then there you go. But it's not dropped in like ketchup and mustard and mayo and all of that, you know. And the packages are getting are dirty with <laughs> the dirty just don't hands like the off because it is. It's I, really I, dropped in just like it. Sometimes they drop well, in at the same okay. time. The, what they do, though, okay. Well, let's say either you, way, look, you grab the package, you grab the napkins. Let's say the boom. napkins. They do it that your thing. All right. Either way, they're putting germs on the food by throwing the packages from the hand with their hands, putting the napkins in there. Maybe they need to have a separate bag or something. Maybe <laughs> well, they need to thing in a separate bag. The napkin, the ketchup, uh, the mustard. Or like well, that. maybe that's not a terrible but, idea. Well, but, you know, I'm thinking they should yeah. already know that, though, rather than just to take ketchup and mustard and, and just throw it in your bag and all, when you open it up, you know, you have your your fries in there and you got ketchup and mustard it's all down in your fries and all that kind of crap. I mean, I, oh, think, yeah. I think that's, that's nasty. Yeah. Yeah, that's enjoy like Nash, that's not enjoyable. You don't like to see how can you, how can see you, the ketchup pack? Well, like, I don't like know? to see the ketchup pack in my fries. I like to have my food separate and then if I want to put ketchup on it I can, but to have a dirty ketchup bag because it was in their hand and threw it in the bag, well, and you saw food. I mean now you have germs on your food. I mean I I, I don't, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Well I mean but I don't, I don't like that. You bless the food, you know. What I mean? Yeah, you bless it, but yet, <laughs> at the same time, you don't want people to just do anything. I mean, yeah, what, okay, yeah. what do you need them to do? Open your bags and oh no, don't do, don't do it, don't do it. On your fries and then okay no. to say thank you and then do you gonna say bless it, Lord, even though they on it? No, 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 you don't do it that way. You want people. You to, compare that to the to the you. You want people to handle your food. Yeah. In a proper and clean and, and orderly fashion. I agree. With That's that. what you want people to do with your food when you order. Because to me, when you order, food, uh, it's something uh, that that's precious, that means to you, and you pay you're paying your money for. It. And them to just treat you like a dog. To me, that's what they're doing. 
They're treating you like a dog to take ketchup and mustard package <laughs> and just throw it in the bag and other including on your french fries and all that. Treating you by. Treating you like a dog. <laughs> See, that's any kind of respect. I'm going to show to you. 901-213-020. Before we get out here today, because I am not getting any results on this. <laughs> Oh man! Look, and, and y'all go. To, y'all can comment. On it. I'm really surprised yeah. people are starting to come in. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one, but I, I know all of these. And if you if you want to comment on anything we've talked about, yeah, you still can do so. But uh, yeah. I know it sound like Bob's ready to <laughs> ready ready to do his thing there. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, and all the stuff that's going on in Memphis too. Uh, the Corona. Well, you know what? Here's my thing. You know, all right. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Just to be real, we've been real the whole show. Just to be real on this too. Tired of of watching the news, and I understand the coverage, right? Yeah. I understand COVID nineteen coronavirus, and look, it's serious. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I hear you talking about. It. I don't pay much attention to it, but. Before you go into that, though, mm-hmm. just just to set it up, this and you can't help to have a welcome Appreciate to the show. Me <laughs> Good morning on a Monday. I don't know. Didn't didn't have a volume on it. That's cool. It, you can keep it have a ring. Keep it down. Now. It's up. Okay. We here. Wow. All the all down here. Okay. Wow. No what what more, gentlemen. Good morning. What's up, sir? Girl? That's why we couldn't hear you. What's up? <laughs> I'm doing quite well. Quite well. Hey, um, I had to duck out for a second, so I didn't get a chance to hear what the uh, other topic was. What the pastor? Mm-hmm. Oh, what? The other topic. Man. <laughs> I wonder what, what Bob's Bob laughing at something. I'm not seeing it. Well, guess. no, no. I was laughing about the, he said the pastor. I was laughing about the pastor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but that's just something else. But the second thing we talked about was, uh, the situation with the NFL draft. Did you understand? And he happened to be drafted by my time anyway. Isaiah Wilson. And they go to him mm. and his girlfriend's sitting on his lap. A white girl. Yeah. Which, you know, I'm, I'm guessing you might have seen it. Which most black athletes <laughs> always uh, connect with white women. White women connect with them. I don't understand why. <laughs> but before you answer that question, yes. I, I want to complete okay. a statement. Uh, the white woman was then snatched out of said black man's lap by his mother on the TV. So, what do you think? He didn't, he didn't ask her to leave his lap. The mother pulled the girl out of the lap. Was the mother wrong for pulling the girl out of her lap, out of his lap? Or should they yeah. have planned this before uh, him uh, being uh, introduced to television? I mean, you know, but yeah. then that's another whole story. You know, white, 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 uh, <laughs> wealthy black athletes. I got seen white women. But hey, anyway, but, but Greg, I, I, I want, I want to hear your answer. <laughs> we want to hear from you, yeah. Greg. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see it live. One billion replays of it. So, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> well, I, I think what it was it just boiled down to Mars is like, don't take his shot. You know, mm-hmm. this is his moment. Get out the way, girl. I'm not to let this man be seen on the camera. You know? And she might not. She might have felt some, you know, you know, something about her sitting on his lap like that. Anyway, mm-hmm. I was about 19, you know, well long in there. Yeah, I think he, you know, he spent so. three years in college, something like that. So he's, yeah, yeah, so, you know, yeah. He might be 20, 21, somewhere mm-hmm. along in there. But, you know, I think it was more so just getting get out of the camera shot and let him be seen. She was. Like the whole, she took up everything right there in that shot. Yeah, the entire. Nah, yeah. she was. The but he, you know, he, he probably had already. She probably already gave him the verbal like, "Get up, girl." <laughs> what don't you? Okay, don't you think? <laughs> don't you think they should have done that? Uh, they knew it was coming. Don't you think they should have done that before? You don't know when he got though. into the camera, but if you don't know when it's coming, at least it was in the particular night. It was that. It was, yeah. It shouldn't have been allowed to lay up on a hug and him like what's 
what was going on with that. I had nothing wrong with it, but you know, there's a time and place for everything, and I don't think they should have allowed that to happen. That particular night, knowing that the cameras were going to come on him at a certain point, certain one, you know, certain point in time during that whole year. But to me, it doesn't seem like he was bothered because, of course not, because he, he, was, he wasn't. <laughs> Because no, listen, fine, be, because the ball, it looked like to me his his was looking up at the mother. What are you doing? You know, yeah, watch this. He he's that on like okay, but I I don't, know. you know. I I think it was more so you know mom just trying to let him be seen you know, without it. That, that, that's what I. Think. Yeah, you know, yeah. As far as the pastor goes, you know, the pastor doing anything wrong. I didn't think it was anything irresponsible. So, <laughs> you said, I suppose. You said, uh, he, now, is he doing it for, you know, is he doing it for the vines? Yeah. He, absolutely. Uh, mm. And, uh, you know, I mean, you know, you can't question his to serve God. I mean, you can't. I mean, I'm sure he does, but yeah, he can join it. I mean, it, you know what they say is different in most cases. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know he's going to serve his followers. You know, shoot, people are digging into his followers as one in the city. I, I still <laughs> can't believe he has a church. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, <laughs> people, are, people are paying to watch him now. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's just like, yeah. oh man. So you know, mm. but um, you know, but, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't too engrossed in the draft, so you know, I, I peeked in it from time to time. I was mainly trying to see, uh, you know, who went from Memphis. That's what I was mostly trying to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, the big surprise out of it, you know, the Cowboys T D Lamb. Don't know how that happened. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I, I, I um, as typical, if I can't stand it. Uh, that that happened, uh, <laughs> but look, one thing about it, all that aside, they got the best in the draft, along with Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup. I mean, that's going to be just ridiculous. Okay, uh, with the offensive Cowboys guy. Okay, the uh, uh, Tennessee Titans. You just what you talking about? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm I'm uh, some, I'm somewhere else. I Greg. can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, what are you, Greg? <laughs> Did I, did, I, did I hang up on Greg? Did Greg hung up there, man? phone over here. Yeah, that's... Okay, Greg, uh, we hung up on... Uh, some of my phone hung up on you. But uh, if you got time, you can. If not, hey. that's fine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Frank is... Oh, hey, Josh. Look, Frankie, y'all know what it is. It's never going to change feelings uh, toward the Cowboys. But look, I cannot deny it was a great pick. I can't believe the guy failed to you guys. Um, I, I do not like it one bit. Mm. Uh, but, hey, they did a good job. And Dak Prescott, even though I'm sure he's not happy, because, you know, Jerry refused to be a whole other situation for another show. Mm. But uh, we'll see what happened with C.D. Lamb. Well, C. D. Lamb, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. C.D. Lamb was the one that had a robe on when they showed him on TV. Uh, like he was in his uh, night robe uh, with him and his girlfriend. Y'all let me know. I think that was him uh, as well. But yeah, but I, I'm mm. surprised Bob got nothing to say about that. But the man was in his basically his bathrobe. Yeah, on on national TV. That's sorry. <laughs> That's sorry. You know, that well, sorry. I mean, it was a good looking robe. Now, good, it was, it was one, now, he was sitting on the couch because you know, virtual draft. Everything's shown at home. Yeah, the, usually they would be there with yeah, a suit. Yeah, but at least he should have. been. That was not appropriate to me. Yeah, it just it just goes to show you. Well, I, hey, if they're athletic, he's a cowboy now. If they're athletic, uh, they work hard to get to that place uh, to be drafted and to make that kind of money. Then hey, I can't say nothing to them about it. But man, you know, it don't make them make them perfect beings. But uh, you know, some some of these people need to learn behavior, character, and all this other kind of stuff, man. National TV, and you know that you're gonna be seen, and then you in your bathrobe. Come on, man. Come yeah, on. you know that's, he, that's ridiculous. He, uh, right. you know, 
I don't know if he, he couldn't find else to wear. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'm just kidding. But a lot of the guys, they did, you know, some of them dressed up, even when they were sitting. Now, I don't know if you call it hating, Greg. Uh, Greg said, cowboy hating a foot. I'm not hating their feet. But anyway, um, that's it, man. But there is stuff I wouldn't mind. I may bring it up later on the line of sports. Because there are some, some crazy stuff going on when it comes to the basketball team. When it comes to the NFL draft, about let me know what you say. Well, well, like I'm, something I'm, interesting. I, yeah. You look the way looking at this comment down here. Is it one I just I, read? No, it's uh, uh, J. Uh, GKP, oh, uh, cool. you know, come in and make comments. Oh, right there. here we go. He says, "Sorry, See? Greg, the phone never in capital letters cuts off on Hank." <laughs> though, yeah, man, come on, it never cuts off on Hank. Though, See that? So I don't know what is he trying to. Do here. He's been in this conspiracy for a while. I mean, think I think he thinks some some racial. Profiling going on with the. No, f- I mean, you're not really black. I mean, I'm black as you can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you ain't that. I mean, you're not that me. black, you know. Yeah. But I mean, there's many more. But uh, uh, <laughs> many, many more. Many, many, many more that are blacker. Can you use blacker? Yeah. And darker, or you know. Color it. I, I don't know. Whatever you <laughs> color now. That's that's terrible. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, Jet's comment here. Uh, he says he agrees with Greg. The mom is trying to be in the picture now, as far as the guy, right? Mm-hmm. And if you notice, the mom she stayed off screen until you saw her hand after she yanked the girl off. But um, she said, "Mom wasn't trying to be in the picture, so why was Becky?" Now we don't know the white girl's name was Becky. Don't we don't know if it's Becky. Unless, unless there's something. No, I, I got it. Do yeah. you know her? I don't know. Is her name Becky? Or uh, short mm-hmm. for Rebecca. Yeah, know. but yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, he said, on the other hand, mom should have ran her off a long time ago. That's what I think. That's what I think. You think so? Be- yes, before it happened. We don't know her. No, no, no. Before that situation came down, yeah. that should have that should have never happened on national TV. Where, you know, he's sitting all up on him and he's... He, and he's not he's not uh, disagreeing with it. He's not pushing her off, holding her and got her all down and, and knowing the camera and everything. I mean, and then to me, his attitude and his, his uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what, well, expression? Profile and expression. Yeah. thing about him, I just don't like. Oh, even though he's a tight I say he's I a, mean, he is just. You not feel already? He's a, he's a, uh. Oh, no, no, don't do it. No, I just don't feel. Man. I mean, he's six he's, foot seven. One of those dude guys on the street, dude man. You know, what? sound like un- sound like he's uneducated. I don't. Know. <laughs> Come on, but man. you know, hey, so the money. I'm not. I, hey, I'm not mad with you, brother. I'm just saying. You know, I think that people sometimes, especially people, when we get in positions like that learn how to better uh, behave ourselves and, oh, and uh, you know, allow ourselves to be educated to the point that we don't know this. Well, but he went to the Georgia. I don't care where he went. <laughs> he didn't learn anything. <laughs> Man, please, get your f- out of your mouth. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm Come just on. saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. unbelievable. Well, you know what? Let's, let's see if I can hear some of this. Yeah. One second, let's see. Georgia came from Brooklyn, Poly Pep, Prep Country Day. Need a little time to adapt to the heat and conditioning in the South, playing at Georgia, and now he'll be playing for the Tennessee Titans. Hello, everybody. It's Isaiah Wilson. Um, I'm I'm extremely excited to be a part of the Titan family. I bet you are. <laughs> Come on, bro. That you know that was you know you didn't think he did pretty good there. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. 
Tammy. I mean, man. His voice is just deep, you know? You can't help that. No, it ain't deep. It's, <laughs> it's uneducated. I mean, you know, come on. The man. I mean, folks. Okay, now. Uh, Maybe that's just the way he is. I don't know. Now, so Jay says, yes, we are racial profiling. We are? Uh, yes. And he says, you know, I love. You, man. No, you don't. You don't, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> man. No, no, you don't. No, you do not. No, I'm not. I'm. I am going to settle that right now. No, you do not love me. For anybody to put something on the screen like that, the, so everybody else can see like you love me. You don't love me. Tell the truth, man. <sighs> or man. Man. Hey, now hold on. Jet says, as far as the woman, he mm. said, "Yes, I know all." Of they all named Becky. <laughs> L-O- <laughs> Come on, Becky. Uh, Frankie. I knew Frankie would have a comment. I was hoping. He said, Deion Sanders. And I did see this, Becky. Uh, not Becky. Frankie. Good grief. I'm sorry. <laughs> all the Becky names. Uh, Frankie, I did see that with Deion Sanders. And if y'all don't know what she's talking about, Deion Sanders told his son they are going to rehearse how to act on camera. When his name is called in the mm-hmm. so I, I saw this like uh, he put this sat down with his son right. I think his son could be up for the draft at this point. Um, believe he's in college if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Uh, playing football and he showed the different clips. He showed the clip of the girl sitting on the guy's lap. Mm-hmm. And there was another clip that went viral as well. Now this was my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And you know, so he was on his phone talking. It must have been to one of the agents or the team. Mm-hmm. And look, yo, I need. I want you to I'm get your thoughts on that. And, and another phone in his lap. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that phone was going off, and she reached in his lap and got that phone. Looked like she was going to answer it or see who was calling. Mm. And he snatched the phone out of her hand. It's like, no, don't do that. Mm. And then she had this look on her face. So, a lot of people saying... Look on his face like she, he wasn't supposed to do that? or Yeah, she was like, Ooh, you know. Uh, so, a lot of people applauded him for doing so. Because women, people feel women shouldn't be going through that man's phone. Okay, my my, my thing is, though, <laughs> this, is my, this is my thought of Okay. Why, why, why is it that black male athletes... When they get uh, drafted or they get a lot of money, why is that they are the most of them, majority of them are swinging a woman on their arm? <laughs> That's a serious question. Swing it, yeah. Why, how? How? Why is it that uh, they they they're coming out mad white women rather than black women? Is there a problem with the black women? Do uh, trust black women with all of their? Mm. Do, do that seriously? Get to some deep because that, that's really uh, a situation that's happening a lot, a lot around this country. Uh, black men are marrying white women when they're, they're getting money when they get money, right? Yeah. The rich athletes and things of that. What's the problem with a black woman? And I mean, it doesn't woman. But yeah, is as that is as long as it's a woman? <laughs> black woman. When you get in that other, <laughs> you, you have real problem now. Why is it uh, um, that? You know, they're mainly. I mean, there's a lot of black men marrying white women. Or white women now are themselves to black when they're wealthy, or at super or were super at uh, uh were super uh wealthy athletes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess. Why is that? Nine zero one two one three six zero two zero. Frankie, so you calling me Becky? Because <laughs> I am higher. I like. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my. No, no, oh, Frankie. No, that. Was- that was a slip of the tongue. Uh, that was a. What does she mean, light skin? Because she's 
lighter light skin. Yeah. You know, not dark, but light. Oh, so Beckys are lighter skinned women? No, Beckys are white. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what Becky means. I don't see it. I, I just, I've, I've known uh, quite a bit of Becky or Rebecca, Becky, uh, <laughs> black women. What? I, I never. Don't see that. I don't see that. Basically, a white woman name. You don't think so? No. Becky? A name for white women. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't see that. But, uh, I, I don't. I'm just saying, so. Yeah, anyway. What, Sarah, maybe? Sarah? That's a black woman. What? <laughs> that's a black woman, too? Yes, that's a Negro. <laughs> no, nah, man. Not yes, this. Lord. So you think Sarah... No, it's, uh, no, I'm just saying Sarah. <laughs> you talking about Sarah. You talking about a black person. You ain't talking about, you know, white women. Ain't no <laughs> Sarah and 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 uh, May and and Flossie and <laughs> and uh, uh, Chastine. Uh, what is the other name for a black one? Uh, Jackie. Jackie and all that kind of name. But anyway, Jack. Man, I understand. Yeah. Jay, Jay uh, words said something to, to Jay. Jet, he said, what did he say? You're a top-notch fan now. Oh, uh, let me see. Hold on. Jay made a statement there to Jet. Uh, yeah, he says, Jet, you're a fan now. I know they're the R word now. <laughs> Racist. I've been here since day one. I'm still not a top fan. Y'all tell me what's going on. I don't know. Look, Facebook is the one that makes these top fan yeah, badges. See, see, like, this, see this type of stuff <laughs> uh, like GKP is doing, trying to also accuse us <laughs> of not, you know, he's not a top-notch fan of the show. GKP ain't doing nothing about that, bro. <laughs> maybe not, maybe <laughs> communicate to us. Maybe they see that you're not respecting us. There it is. And then they just don't want to name you a top-notch. I don't know how they do that. I don't know oh, why no. they do that to you. Yeah, because you've been on there. You've been on here, you know, and I appreciate you being here. But, you, hey, you're not a top-notch fan. <laughs> <laughs> so you just rub but it in. I'm, I'm sorry, GKP. But anyway. Well, we'll make it worse if you finished it with that red cup. You know, uh-huh. you know. I got the red cup, too. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, have, I do have the red cup. Okay. Yeah. He's, uh, I saw Jay had it in the car. Yeah. He, Thinking, um, while he was driving. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you know some, uh, I hope it was, <laughs> I hope it was Kool-Aid yeah. in that, Jay. <laughs> Ginger ale. Uh, orange juice. But no, no, not orange juice. Because I know they do something else with orange yeah, juice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But anyway, Jay says, ho, Bob. No, or no, Bob. What yeah, No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Good grief. It's time, for- <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to go reading stuff. <laughs> Becky's are whiter skinned women. I I don't agree with that. Whiter skinned. Whiter skinned. Not lighter, but whiter. Okay. <laughs> Harriet. Oh, yeah, that's a black man. Harriet. That's yeah, a black one. Oh, yeah. Harriet Tubman. Uh, see, see, I, I hate you named that name because <laughs> I was about to say Harriet is one of those names, the black woman that's got a rope pull. <laughs> no, man, not the mule. Not the mule. Yeah. You know, I always thought Aunt Jemima's probably Harriet. You know, if you look Jemima. Like, like Harriet Jemima. Well, I you know. Like this. There were. I mean, you talking about her wearing that band around her? Yeah, that's that that's, scarf or something. That's Harriet like that. Jemima. Okay, I mean, black women still wear those scarves today. Yeah, ain't no problem. With that. Like, they, I mean, well, I don't know about that, but I know like bonnets. You know, at home, I'm pretty sure they they wrap that thing around their head. You know, because they 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 hadn't done anything to their hair, <laughs> so they put. You know, <laughs> well, can't nobody do too much. See, right. In trouble now. With, yeah, know. see, Frank is gonna say. something. Messing around, yeah. With me. uh, I don't know why, Bob. He said something. Did Jay? 
thought I thought we were cool, Jay. I'm always cool, Jay. You know, I got your back. I just thought about, you know, the cup you were sipping while you were uh, driving. Yeah. Live that day. I think it was what Saturday. What do you mean I thought you, we were cool? Yeah. Are, you try, are you trying to turn Josh against me? <laughs> DKP, what's going on with this? I thought we were, aren't we, if, if you're cool with Josh, then you're cool with me. Yeah. You're not cool with me, and you're trying to be cool with Josh, then you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's going to do it for us today, folks. Um, anyway, we'll talk about some other things coming up. That's still this week. Uh, is it this week or later on what? in the week where Memphis is going to open up uh, its door? Or have they done that today? Uh, they're definitely this week. They're, they're, the the state is doing it in the beginning of May. Okay. Uh, wait, May the 5th. May the 5th. Okay. So Memphis will be opened, and today, <laughs> today okay. Now, uh, have restaurant are restaurants open today in Memphis? Not in Memphis, no. Call. Y'all already know. That's all. To accept, <laughs> press one. Uh, well, y'all already know. Okay, welcome to the show. I mean, come on, man. Welcome to the with a better well, exit okay. strategy if you're gonna go. If I need to end the show every day, just no. go ahead and let me know. What are you? You guys said the okay. show was over 25 minutes. <laughs> no, we <laughs> did not. Judge. You oh. said, well, we're going to go on and get out of here. <laughs> yeah. So I'm... We, that's, that's what you said. <laughs> but, then, but, but then you come in and don't give us time to leave. So what's going on, man? Because I... I'm trying to figure out if it's like we starting the show, you might as well go ahead and say, and then the headline. <laughs> 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 well, you know, you know what? <laughs> there you go. Oh man, there it is. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. In the headline today, <laughs> we got. <laughs> There it is. I said, we've got. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We've got. <laughs> okay, you. What, what we got? Okay, we got you. You sound like you don't got nothing. Keep <laughs> 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 saying we've got. Now, the, the record. Anyway, the, I'm just saying, what are you guys doing, man? What's up? We're trying to get out of here, but you don't, you don't, you call it. I said, who is this calling? Uh, but anyway, okay. no, you, I mean, but you're welcome to call. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, all the, yeah. even though all the things you call me on the, on the thing here. Well, listen, listen, you the one on here today, just doing bad to you. All <laughs> deep black and dark <laughs> and all of these type of things, man, don't be <laughs> I am not. We, we can barely see you. People can clearly see you. Yeah. You can barely see you, but we see you. Okay? No, no. Oh, man. Come on. Man. I am not. I love you, man. I am not that dog. <laughs> well, uh. stop questioning yourself. I mean, you, you, you all left sounding as if that's why I said, yes, you are. I wanted to go ahead and confirm. I'm you were like, like, I'm not. I'm, well, I'm not as dark as Moses. Well, I'm, I'm a little yeah. blacker than the. Yeah, <laughs> a little oh, blacker than the bear. Berry. <laughs> black on, bear. See, you talking about black bear? I know what you're talking. About. See, <laughs> see, see, oh, see, see, you ain't right, man. No, nah, look, look. It's all good. Look, look. I am not really all black. I'm just gonna let everybody know today oh, man. that I am not a black man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you get sprayed down before the. <laughs> no, uh, you know some of that. News. No, I did. Just, I, what I'm I am. I am not the. Uh, you know, I am not all black. Okay, uh, I am. Oh, I've I got. I've got some other things uh, there. So, but if you don't know, then you know. Yeah, so, well, that definitely explains. <laughs> I guess. I guess uh, you can let it on out of the. Back. Oh, no. <laughs> Explain you. See, see. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. See.
See, hey, Greg, sorry, man. They see. always seem to cut us off. No, see there? <laughs> see there? I, I started not to. See, I, I was wrong. You know, but, you know, I knew you was going <laughs> to jump on that. That's all right. And then, and then, Bob, you're so you're so innocent and honest with it. Uh, sorry, Greg. Greg, call back. You want to call back? What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. He said he's so Wait polite with the hang up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? I'm innocent. <laughs> Talking about Greg. Call back. Oh, no, you got? I know you're not innocent. You're trying to play innocent, Bob. That's what I'm saying, man. What are, every okay. time one of us. Every time one of us gets cut cut off, here it is. Oh, well, feel free to call back, GKP, if you want to. Why? You're going you're gonna to be looking at the number, man. You're not going to pick it up. Come on, brother. You know what's going on? No, no it's not that way. We, you know, Greg just, I don't know what happened to Greg. Yeah, it was mysterious. I, I, we know you don't. <laughs> You know you don't. You must, you right. must have been receiving a call from Hank on that. <laughs> you know. Uh, no, no, you know, I, you know, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not anywhere. Well, uh, come what? on, Bob, you're stuttering. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, come on, man. If we were in court, I'd have you. You're fidgety. Yeah, no. yeah, but I'm, you know, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not a black man. Okay, I just, oh, that's man, all. I just all I want you to want you to know. I'm not a black man. That's people being honest with the world today. Yes. I heard it first. Yes. Right here on right here. Talk Live with Bob right. and Josh. He's right. And GK. Bob <laughs> is not a black man. I am not a black now, man. Now, what, what, what he is is to be. <laughs> but now, it's it is own not, fact and he has admitted. It is, not, not, to, it is not to be determined. I know what I am. Are you like. But, I know what I am. Now you just have to. You want to know? See, you doing all that talking. You want me to tell it? But I'm not. I'm not going to tell. You know, this I am re- not going to tell. Fine. This reminds me of when that's Tiger fine. Tiger Woods told everybody. You know, I'm not, I'm not black. You know, don't call me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't one of them. <laughs> Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He sure was black then. When he found out he was black when he was constantly texting them women. He got, got caught up out there. Oh, come on. You, 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 hey, y'all remember the infamous phone call? Yeah. She knows. Yeah, she does. Yeah. She knows. He take my name yeah, out, out your phone. Oh, Lord. Please delete all of the stuff out of here. She has. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't Hilarious. I don't know. But anyway, if you could say what you want about me, but I'm letting you know that, you know, I'm not all black. <laughs> well that's breaking news. That's you know, it's, well it's, what what I don't think there is a go ahead and then for real. You don't want some of the comments that's right. <laughs> see, you guys go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> see, 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 that, see that's that. No, see the thing about you people. Oh no, is that? Oh no, is that? Oh no, everybody, everybody that's kind of got a kind of got a shade look. You people, we like y'all. Oh man. Ah. Oh. See. You know what? On that, I, I, I'm, I'm in shock and awe right now, Josh. I don't know. You know what? On that note, <laughs> <laughs> hey, sounds good to me. Get out of here, y'all. Hey, y'all already know who it is. All right. Hey, I might have to make this breaking news on my show today. <laughs> I'm no longer black. Now you say I was y'all no longer. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Thanks for the call. Hey. All right. You know what? I gotta say though, one one black trait that we are exhibiting currently is, you know, y'all know when you over your family house. But I want y'all to hear this. Yeah. We, I know when you over your family house and you get ready to leave. All right, y'all, we finna go and get up out of here. And you stay for thirty minutes talking in the yard. Yeah. Or, or at trying to get out the door. Yeah. And you can't.
and get out. Yeah. All right, well, we gonna go and get out. All right, yeah. Hey, still talking and dancing. All right, time to go. We appreciate it coming, y'all. We gotta get a plate first. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a plate. <laughs> That's another 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, Frankie made a statement on that. Oh, she's a white girl. Okay. Yeah. She's making a statement. Uh, and I've heard this before. Mm. Uh, from black women. Uh, white girls are more active than black girls when it comes to approaching me. It seems like they find out who the potential money makers are after them while black girls have been taught education. So you won't be dependent on a man. Oh. No, see, honestly. I mean, I see, think that's okay. legit. So... Black black women think about black men in college. They think they think about a good education. So they're you so, And I look at that. Need, need no black man. Well, Is that the attitude. I mean, well, they want reliance. Well, and like in case, just so like nothing wrong with that. Nothing uh-huh. wrong with that, but I. I don't think they should just uh, not uh, be somewhat ag- aggressive in a way toward or well, aggressive. Some, well, not aggressive, but in some ways open, interested or open to uh, to some type of relationship. Uh, you know, especially if it's got relationship, but especially knowing some, you know, just to say I'm going to black woman say I'm going to the education. I ain't thinking about no no. Neg- no black man or anything like that. You hear me? Oh, but uh, I don't know. Hey, last comment here. Yeah. Um, well, actually, last couple Greg said here, he said, depends on where they're from and what has been there culturally. Uh, Jed says, because people and handlers keep them in spaces that limit their contact with young black women. Uh. Uh, and once... The uh, NLF, is, uh, I think he made the NFL. Uh, once in the NFL, it's only going to get worse. Most of uh, experience with beautiful black women will be through models, perceived thoughts, and etc. Mm-hmm. And thoughts will probably have to be um, defined in another show because yes. I do know what. Uh, but, but anyway, now I, I understand. Look, mm. he's right. It's probably the experience with open, mm. if you want to say open, right? Mm-hmm. Open mm-hmm. will be those type of black women, the ones that are open with everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just a reality, uh, and that that's a reality when you look at mm-hmm. is either those type of black women or the white women. And they marry those. Well, well. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. Kidding. Yeah, there are a lot of good women out there, and there are a lot of good white women out there. there are good people out there. That's the way I see it. And uh, so, we are the world. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of bad people out there. Too. <laughs> I'm telling you, I do. There's a lot of bad people out there, so you have to be careful uh, what you do, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, mm-hmm. hey, we want to thank you for joining us today for the during, for the show. And yes, uh, GKP, we're closing the show again. Mm-hmm. Now, we were interrupted by you and a couple other people.
call to talk about wait a minute, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You call to talk about what? I don't think he did that. No, I no, Greg, and he hung up. That answer. That was what he thought about my question. <laughs> he said he called about my question for the day, oh, and then ding, the phone just hung up. That, Greg is telling me there what he thought about it. <laughs> no comment. Just hung up on me. Oh, I mean, we. I don't know why you did that. To me. We were leaving. Oh man, wasn't bothering anybody calls in and wants to talk about the question that I had of the day and then he hangs up on me. GKP says, see, see there? there? <laughs> see there? <laughs> see? Uh, yeah. See? So. No, he's saying see because this is what he he believes is happening. He thinks you hung up on him again. That's yeah. What, yeah. I didn't, I didn't hang up on him. I know. Greg hung up on us. See? So, but folks, but let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here before again. somebody else try to call in and make it look bad. But at any rate, hey, we had a wonderful day today, and uh, we appreciate everybody this, uh, been listening. And, uh, Attracted to Dennis Rodman. <laughs> well, Carmen Electra was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. see, now that was shocking. You talk about shocking. <laughs> that, uh, you know, I mean, come on now. But, you know, I, I feel like that's that's almost a whole uh, yeah. show itself. Gosh. But, you know what? Mm-hmm. It, see? <laughs> see? He, I, I don't believe he's doing it, but I don't think you're doing it either. But, I, I got a feeling I know what the problem is. Maybe that's yeah. maybe that's telling us it's time to go. Okay, all right. Uh, we're gonna finally get ready to close our show, Greg. I mean, I think we're having technical difficulties, really, and uh, we're sorry about that. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll go ahead and go. <laughs> so. It's been a pleasure to have you join us, and uh, I, I know what you may be in Hey, but go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, anyway, yeah. you know the old saying, I ain't stuck it. But anyway, yes. uh, hey, thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure to have you. And, uh, yeah. so have we'll, you be back, we'll be back next time. Have you ever heard of a show? Look, Jay is saying, get out of here. You ever heard the show when they tell the, the host to get off get there? Out of here. Get out of here, guys. I mean, come on, Jay. We don't tell the show doesn't like that. Okay. Well, that's yeah, but we can do that. Hey, have a wonderful day today. Take care of yourself. It should be a beautiful day today. We have showers and thunderstorms headed into the area tomorrow evening. But nonetheless, your day.
You're listening to Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. Talking about current events and topics that matter. Call in now. 901-213-6020. 901-213. This is Sergeant Chris Richardson with the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Pedestrian safety is a two-way street. Both drivers and walkers need to do their part to keep roads safe. When you're walking, remember, the drivers may not always see you. So remember to use these tips to continue to walk safely. Wear bright clothes. Always use crosswalks and obey signs. Lights and reflectors should be used. And finally, keep alert and do not walk distracted. This message brought to you by the Tennessee Highway Patrol. 